हेलो गाइस दिस इज अदिल वेलकम टू रिएक्शन रील्स आज जो हम वीडियो लेकर आए हैं बहुत ही मज़े की होने वाली है क्योंकि इस वीडियो के अंदर हमें वो कुछ इंडिया के बारे में जानने को मिलेगा जो हमें नहीं पता क्योंकि वीडियो का नाम है द अनसीन ट्रूथ ऑफ इंडिया तो वीडियो शुरू करते हैं उसके बाद सारी हम इसके ऊपर बातचीत करेंगे क्योंकि ये वीडियो फिर बहुत लंबी हो जाएगी अगर हम स्टार्ट में इसके बारे में थोड़ी सी बातचीत करेंगे तो तो सीधी सीधी हम वीडियो शुरू करेंगे और वीडियो शुरू करने से पहले हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें साथ ही बेल आइकन को प्रेस करें ताकि हमारे आने वाली सारी वीडियोस आपको मिलती रहे तो वीडियो शुरू करते हैं व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट इमेज कम्स टू योर माइंड व्हेन यू हियर द नेम ऑफ इंडिया लाइक दिस दिस और दिस राइट बिकॉज़ योर मीडिया मोस्टली प्रेजेंट सच सिमिलर इमेजेस ऑफ इंडिया इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ओके लेट मी शो यू समथिंग डिफरेंट देन योर मीडिया If I say this is Mumbai. India, will you believe me? Maybe not, because most probably you have never seen India in this way. But actually, this is real India, which has been hidden from you. The oh, slums, no. busy and chaotic cities you see on TV or mobile is only a smallest part of India. India is actually pretty normal. Achha, and this is the one thing that a lot of people are don't understand about yeah. India. Okay, let me show you some major cities of India. This is Mumbai. Mumbai. This is Delhi. Delhi. This is Kolkata oh. this is Gurgaon this is Noida mm, this is, is Hyderabad this is Pune this is Bangalore this is Chennai this is Surat Surat pe nahi this is Thane and there are many such modern cities in India almost hum in cities pe kar chuke hain okay let's come to the rural part of India and i am pretty sure that according to you the indian villages are look something like this or this right so but actually yeah. this is not even 5% part of indian villages more than 95% of indian oh, villages are look something like this woh na change ho raha hai na due to the large population of india the indian villages are also so big look at this this is not a city or town but Gujarat. it's a village called madhapur located in the indian state of gujarat After a lot of struggle in 1947 when India got independence from the British Empire India's economy was only 25 billion dollar even in 1991 India's economy was less than the economy of Paris and London and now India has more economy than the France and the UK in 2014 India's economy was ranked 10th in the world but now in 2022 India has become the fifth largest economy in the world with a huge GDP of 3.5 trillion dollar. In just last 8 year, India has overtaken five major economies like Canada, Russia, Italy, Brazil, France and the UK. Nice and it's really impressive. India is the fastest growing major economy in the world and according to IMF, India is set to surpass Germany and Japan to become the world's third largest economy by 2027. 2027. India is already the third largest economy in the world in terms of PPP GDP Good with wrong. a huge GDP of 11.7 trillion dollar and by 2030 India's nominal GDP is expected to be 8.5 trillion dollar but India's potential is much more than this. After the USA, Russia and China, the Indian military is the fourth most powerful military in the world and uh, with a budget of 76.6 billion dollars, India has the largest defense budget in the world. Over 1.45 million active personnel, over 1.15 million reserve personnel and over 2.52 million paramilitary. The Indian military is the largest military in the world with a total 5.13 million military personnel. India is also a nuclear armed country. The country is hold some of the most powerful nuclear weapon in the world such as intercontinental ballistic missiles Agni 5, Agni 6, K5 and K6 which has a massive range of 5000 km to 12000 km. Even some experts say that India hidden a dangerous weapon called Agni 7 or Surya which has a massive range of 12000 km to 16000 km. There are only four countries in the world that have anti-satellite weapons satellite and India yeah. is one of them. India has capability to destroy the communication system of any country in the world by destroying their satellite in this space. The Indian Space Research Organization ISRO is among the world's top five most successful space agencies. ISRO has successfully launched over 386 foreign satellite for 36 different countries including satellite of USA, Germany, France and the UK. and successfully launched over 134 Indian origin satellites 
there are many many misconceptions about India have been born in the world, especially in the West, and that's why many people make the mistake of underestimating India. For example, in 2013, when India announced that India will also send its satellite and rover to Mars, the New York Times made fun of India like this. But after in just one year in 2014, India became the first country in the world to reach Mars in the first attempt. And just few years later, in 2017, India created an incredible world record by launching 104 satellites from a single rocket. And then India made fun of New York Times like this. This is called Fit Revenge. India is among the world's four countries that have successfully reached Mars and Moon both. Other are USA, Russia and China. And among the five countries that have their own GPS navigation system other are USA, Russia, China and Japan. After USA and China, India has the third highest number of billionaires in the world. As of 2022, Hi. India has total 237 oh billionaires. Oh. The Indian stock market is the fastest growing major stock market in the world. Even two out of the world's 10 largest stock exchanges are Indian. And India is said to be worth the largest stock market by 2030 with a total expected market cap of over $11 trillion. The world's fastest growing startup ecosystem in 2014, India had only 400 startups, and as of 2022, India has over 77,000 startups, which makes India globally the third largest startup ecosystem in the world after USA and China, as well as India has the third highest number of unicorns in the world. The country is home to the 108 unicorns with a total valuation of $341 billion. India is already among the top 5 most industrialized countries with a total output. All medicine in the UK are supplied by India. It is difficult to imagine how the world would be able to combat AIDS without India because globally over 80% of antiretroviral drugs which is using to combat AIDS are supplied by India. Known as the potential Only. superpower, India is the second most populous country in the world and its potential is unlimited. The country has largest young force in the world, more than 50% of its population below the age of 25 and more than 65% of its population below the age of 35. And this young power is helping India to become an economic superpower like USA, China and European Union. But still, if you think that India is a poor country then let me tell you that Indian household own the largest amount of gold, 25,000 tons to 30,000 tons which is worth over 1.5 trillion dollar to 2 trillion dollar and it is more than the economy of Australia, South Korea and Italy. Even Indian temple alone have 4000 to 5000 tons of gold which is worth more than 300 billion dollar and is more than the economy of New Zealand and Finland. Indians are just love golds and jewelry and that's why 
India is the biggest consumer of gold, silver, jewelry and gems. Many people in the world, mostly in the West, use HDI and per capita to criticize Yo, India, but yeah, they hey, forget that India is the fastest growing major economy in the world. Currently, India's HDI is best. considered in the medium category, Indian which is haan, expected to move to the high human development category by 2025. Even today, 14 Indian hmm. states are comes in the high human development category and 13 Indian states are very close to achieve this. And many Indian states have Mumbai. more GDP per capita than the per capita of many European countries. Well, India is 7 to 10 times cheaper than the Europe and America. India is just like China, as China developed itself in the past, today India is developing in the same way. According to recent UN study, the country has lifted more than 415 million people out of poverty since 2005, and according to World Bank, poverty in India has reduced by 12.3% between 2011 to 2019 from 22.5% in 2011 to only 10% in 2019. And according to recent study of IMF, India has almost wiped out extreme poverty. The percentage of people living in the extreme poverty in India is only 0.8% now. The country is home to the rich culture and spirituality. No country in the world as diverse as India. There are 28 states and 8 union territories in India and they all have their own culture, music, languages, races and food. And no country in the world is more colorful than India. Even India has entire colorful cities like Jaipur, the city of pink, Udaipur, the city of white, Jodhpur, the city of blue, Jaisalmer, the city of gold, and Kanyakumari, the city of seven colors. India is a whole world itself. India has snow like Greenland, beauty like Switzerland, desert like Arab, wildlife like Africa, beautiful cities like Europe, forest like Brazil, and mountains like Japan. Even Adha. India has a white desert also. Hundred thousand of beautiful temples, historical monuments, incredible architecture sites, extremely beautiful hill stations like Monali, Nainital, Simla and Spitvili. India is just incredible. India is transforming itself as a global economic powerhouse. The country is home to the highest number of under construction mega projects in the world. Project Bharatmala post $140 billion, Project Sagarmala post $130 billion, Project DMIC post $100 billion, Project 100 Smart City post $100 billion. These are few big projects out of them. As well as, the country is spending a massive amount of $1.5 trillion to modernize and develop its infrastructure. Along with this, Seeing the growth of countries' urbanization, India is also creating many new and futuristic cities like Gibbs City, Dholera SIR, and Amravati Smart City. The fastest growing major economy, the fastest growing major stock market, the fastest growing startup ecosystem, healthcare, technology, infrastructure, and industries, India is performing excellent. And this is what the world should know about India. बहुत ही ज़्यादा इसके अंदर बहुत ही डीप इनफॉरमेशंस थी यानी कि इंडिया के बारे में जो वाकई कि ज़्यादातर लोगों को नहीं पता क्योंकि कई चीजों में उन्होंने जो वो ग्राफ वगैरह यूज़ करके बताया वो बहुत जबरदस्त था वीडियो ओवरऑल बहुत ही जबरदस्त किस्म की और बहुत नॉलेजेबल है तो इसके अंदर ऑलमोस्ट इंडिया की सारी बातें बताई हैं अच्छा मैं एक चीज नोट कर रहा था इंडिया क्यों आ गया इंडिया इसलिए आगे जा रहा है इंडिया के एक तो लोग सिंसियर हैं इंडिया के साथ दूसरा वहां जो हुकूमत है जो यानी कि बड़ी उस पे पोस्ट पोस्ट पे हैं जो इंडिया को लेके चल रहे हैं वो सिंसियर है इंडिया के साथ पाकिस्तान का ये है मसला कि पाकिस्तान के साथ सिंसियर कोई नहीं ना आम सिंसेर हैं तो ना जो कुर्सियों पे बैठे हैं वो सिंसेर हैं पाकिस्तान के साथ यानी कि आम तो सिंसेर है ही नहीं ना आम को जिधर दौड़ लगता है वहाँ उसको दौड़ लगा देते हैं इसी तरह फिर बड़े भी हैं जिनका जिधर दौड़ लगेगा वो लगा देते हैं वो बड़े लेवल पे लगा रहे हैं जो जिनका जो आवाम है उनका छोटा लेवल है तो वो छोटे लेवल पे लगा रहे हैं तो जहाँ सिंसेर नहीं होगा तो वो मुल्क कैसे चलेगा पाकिस्तान इसलिए बहुत पीछे से पीछे पीछे ही जाया जा रहा है आई थिंक वो 
1947 से भी पीछे जा रहा है और तो कोई नज़र नहीं आ रहा जो हालात चल रहे हैं पाकिस्तान के वो ऐसे ही हैं बात करें अगर इंडिया की तो इंडिया की आवाम उसके साथ सन्सेर है आई उनकी क्यों आगे जा रही है क्योंकि आई पे जो बैठे हुए हैं लोग आई के जो सीनियर्स हैं उनके जो आई को लीड कर रहे हैं वो उसको लेके चल रहे हैं पाकिस्तान में आईटी को समझ नहीं आती कौन लेके उसे आईटी का कख नहीं पता जो आईटी को लेके चल रहे थे तो मुझे नहीं लगता इस तरह कभी भी कोई भी कंट्री आगे बढ़ सकता है किसी भी किसी भी शोबे के अंदर किसी भी यानी आईटी हो गया ये जो करते हैं यार फसल वगैरह को करते हैं वो हो गए हुकूमत हो गई पुलिस ये जो जितने शोबे हैं कोई आगे नहीं जा सकता जब उनका हैड ही पारी होगा खैर बात करें इस वीडियो की तो इस वीडियो में बहुत ही कमाल कमाल की इन्फॉर्मेशन है और जिनकी ये वीडियो है मैं उनका लिंक लाजमी दूंगा डिस्क्रिप्शन में आप उनकी वीडियोस देखें उनकी वीडियोस ज़्यादातर इस तक इस टाइप की होती हैं और बहुत ही कमाल की वीडियोस बनाते हैं और बहुत ही इन्फॉर्मेटिव बनाते हैं आई होप आप लोगों को ये वीडियो पसंद आई होगी आई होप हम लोग फिर से वैसे ही वीडियोस बनाना शुरू करेंगे जैसे हम स्टार्ट से बनाते आ रहे हैं क्योंकि बीच में थोड़ा सा गैप आ रहा है बार बार कुछ प्रॉब्लम्स हो जाती हैं इस वजह से कोशिश करेंगे हम अच्छी से अच्छी वीडियोस लेकर आएँ अगर वीडियो अच्छी लगी है तो लाइक कीजिए सब्सक्राइब कीजिए चैनल को और कमेंट में लाजमी बताएँ कि आप लोग कौन सी वीडियो देखना चाहते हैं हम उस पर भी वीडियो बनाने की कोशिश करेंगे बहुत जल्द तो अभी तक के लिए ही था फिर मिलते हैं नई वीडियो के साथ नई रिएक्शन के साथ तब तक के लिए अल्लाह हाफ़